Hello friends, this video on whole numbers part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So learning about this dots pattern, let us now look at some of the uh, magical questions of whole numbers. Which of the following will not represent 0? 1 plus 0. 1 plus 0 would be what? Now 0 is the additive identity. When 0 is added to anything, the number remains the same. So 1 plus 0 will remain 1. So it will not represent 0. 0 into 0. Anything multiplied by 0 is always 0. So this represents 0. 0 by 2. So 0 divided by anything is also 0. And anything divided by 0 is always not defined. Question number 2. If the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through examples. Now, if the product is 0, that means that one of them is definitely 0. Because even if one of them is 0, the product is going to be 0. Because anything multiplied by 0 gives 0. There is now, if none of them are 0, in that case the product will never be 0. Because if you have two non-zero numbers getting multiplied, in that case the product can never become 0. But if both of them are 0, then also the product is 0. If one of them is 0, then also the product is 0. Question number 3. If the product of two whole numbers is 1, can we say that one or both of them will be 1? Justify through examples. Now here since we are talking about only whole numbers, that both the, whole num both the numbers which are being multiplied are whole numbers. Now in order to get a product of 1, both whole numbers must be 1. So they need to be 1. Only then the product would be 1. Because otherwise if you have any other non-zero number and if you multiply it with 1, you would get the same non-zero number. You take any number. Only when it is 1, then only 1 into 1 would be 1. Otherwise any other number when multiplied with 1 will give the same number. If 0 gets multiplied with 1, then it gives 0. So every time, because that is why 1 is the multiplicative identity. When 1 is multiplied to any number, that number retains its identity. Question number 4. Find using distributive property. 5437 multiplied by 1001. Now here we can write 1001, we can break 1001 as 1000 plus 1. So now by distributive property this is A into B plus C. So what do we know that by distributive property A into B plus C is equal to A into B plus A into C. So we can say 5437 into 1000 plus 5437 into 1. So this would be equal to 5437000 plus 5437. So this becomes equal to 5442437. So this would be the answer. Question number 5. Study the pattern. 1 into 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 1, 2 into 8 plus 2 is equal to 98. 123 into 8 plus 3 is equal to 987. Now when you look at the pattern, what's happening? Earlier it was 1, then it became 1, 2, then it became 1, 2, 3, then it became 1, 2, 3, 4, then 1, 2, 3, 5. And also this number which is getting added is also increasing gradually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. And the beautiful thing is that the result that you are getting, that is also changing in a very beautiful way. First it was 9, then it is 9, 8, then 9, 8, 7, then 9, 8, 7, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 and so on. So can we write the next two steps? Yes, we can. The next step would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One more number added into 8 plus this would be 6 is equal to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. What would be the next step? It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 into 8 plus 7 is equal to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. So that is the pattern that we can see on the screen. Now, 
can you see how whether the pattern works at all or not i mean are we just writing it for the sake of it or if we calculate it we will get this of course we will get this but do you know how it works so let us try to understand this so let us take this step which we have written at first that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 now when you look at this number 1 2 3 4 5 6 what do you see you would see that this Six is at the units place or ones place. So how will you get a six? In order to get a six, you have to add one six times. So when you add one six times, you would get a six. How would you get a five? When you add one five times. How would you get a four? When you add one four times. Three. Three times, two, two times, and one, one time. So when you actually add these numbers, what do you get? You get one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. So now in this, let let let's take example of this one. So in this, what we do is we replace this number with this expansion. So we basically write it as. One 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 plus one 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 plus one 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 plus one 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 plus one one plus one. So we write it like this, and this gets multiplied with eight as a whole. So when this entire thing gets multiplied with eight, what do we get? We get something like this: eight 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 eight, eight, eight plus eight 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 eight. eight, eight Plus eight 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 plus eight eighty eight plus eighty eight plus eight, and now we add six to this entire thing. So when you sum it up, you get nine eight seven six four eight plus six, which is equal to nine eight seven six five four. So what is this value? This value is nothing but this value, so it works. So this is one simple way of simplifying it. Now, instead of multiplying these big big numbers together, you can write it in this form, and then you can see this magical phenomena. So these are some of the magic. So with whole numbers, so you can play around with whole numbers, and you can try simplifying them, making use of the various properties that we have learned in this lesson. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on whole numbers would have helped you try to solve more and more questions focus mainly on the concepts do not memorize anything understand them and then try to solve questions I hope this lesson would have helped you see you all in the next lesson Thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you